Hey, good morning. Uh, so we're out here today in central London at the Natural History Museum. Uh, we came off of South Kensington tube station and we've come out to see Fantastic Beasts, Wonders of Nature. So this is a temporary exhibit here at the Natural History Museum until the 3rd of January. And it's going to give you an idea of how the real world, the real natural world and the wisdom world have intertwined to create all these creatures, all of those ideas that are coming off in the wisdom world. Uh, so this is a separate ticketed exhibition. Uh, entrance into the Natural History Museum itself is free and this is £25 for an adult on the door here or £22 if you book online. It's a timed ticket so you have to be in for your particular time. Um, but come along and if you enjoy the video throughout give us a thumbs up, I do appreciate it, it helps me a lot and if you could hit the subscribe button, the bell icon to be notified when we post all new videos that'll be great. Let's go and see the Wisdom World. So I'll give you an idea of the ticket prices. I was slightly off, it's 25.50 if you do a donation, 23 pounds without a donation. We did do a donation today, so uh, 25.50 per person. Children, 15.95 or 14.25. And then you've got some mixed tickets there for your own family give you an idea of some of the things that we are going to see in there and how they've been imagined from the real world to the wisdom world and what has inspired them. So they have given us a free activity book to go alongside the exhibit here. What have you got to find, discuss, write, and draw and what moves? through muggle art and literature in the Middle Ages reveals that many of the creatures they now believe to be imaginary were then known to be real. Newt Scalamon. So as we come in we are greeted by Eddie Redmayne's jacket and waistcoat and everything, his costume from the film. We've got some of his books here in the bow truckle. And it's fantastic, fantastic suitcase. Dragon, probably the most famous of all magical beasts. Dragons are among the most difficult to hide. As a female are generally larger and more aggressive than the males. It's true to humans as well. More aggressive for sure. So here we've got a dragon skull. Not much different to a dinosaur skull. And that's what they're saying here in the exhibit. They are showing that some of these have come and been inspired by real life creatures. just yet. Ooh, some magical creatures are coming out. So dragon, tales of dragons and other mythical reptiles now started with sightings of enormous snakes and the discovery of dinosaur bones, much like this one here. So here there'll be some dragons which have no wings and no feet. Some again have both feet and wings, and some neither feet nor wings. And they've popped up in uh, various books throughout the ages. I apologise for the flickering, that's to do with the uh, frequency of the lights here. Here, which inspired Chinese dragons and giant snakes too. A dinosaur named after Hogwarts. This skeleton is a type of bone-headed dinosaur. It was discovered in 2004. Uh, it was the Dragon King of Hogwarts they named it.
very cool. More magical creatures lingering up in the uh, in the eaves. And we've got tapestry here with a unicorn in it. And for hundreds of years, unicorns were believed to be real animals. Tusks, bones, and fossils were traded as their magical horns. Many different types of unicorns. So this book has all different types of unicorns. And this is an encyclopedia of animals that was originally published in 1650. So it gives you kind of an idea that these mythical creatures have been thought about for, throughout the centuries and what's inspired the wizarding world now. So this is a tusk from the unicorn of the sea. And this is a narwhal tusk. It's probably about six feet long, or oh, ten feet long actually, it says it can grow up to. It's not often that you see these signs. Cool. Very cool. Containing unicorn hair, healing with unicorn horn. So, in the Wisdom World of J.K. Rowling, unicorn horn, hair, and blood have magical properties. Wands made with unicorn hair are faithful and produce the most consistent magic. Lupin, Malfoy, and Weasley each carried wands with a unicorn hair core. And then these are their wands. So, we see the mer people. The oldest recorded mer people were known as sirens. And this is from Greece. And it is in warmer waters that we find the beautiful mermaids so frequently depicted in the muggle literature and painting. saw a beautiful stained glass window featuring a new person in the prefect's bathroom in the Goblet of Fire. And we have the egg here it was, uh, given, that Harry got in the Triwizard Tournament uh, and this was where the singing of the mad people were. Uh, you had to get out in the water before you could hear the voices. You can hear in the background actually. Otherwise, it would just be a screech. Siren song. Another animal that may have inspired a bowhead whale. They're cool. We'll do this one. A humpback whale as well. So these were what may have inspired the songs. Here we've got a fake mer person. Uh, this was from the 1800s. Mummified mermaid. This is made of uh, like wood and uh, bone, metal, dried fish, human hair, things like that. And, and, and this is the hoaxes that people would have done back in the 1800s to try and convince people that mermaids and mer people were real. A mermaid from Indonesia. And this is illustrations of colourful and strange fishes. This book contains an account of the early 1700s of a monster resembling a siren that was caught in Indonesia. Did they catch this? <laughs> where some of these sea monsters were found. Sea monsters. 
called Pristas were said to sink ships by spraying water from two tubes on their head. Could the real animals have inspired the beast? So, so what they're saying here is maybe a giant octopus or a giant squid and other large cephalopods may have inspired the kraken. Um, that really creepy looking large octopus stuffed in that tank, which is gross. Um, but that may have inspired the origins of the Kraken uh, and where the thought may have come from in mythology. In search of fantastic beasts. So we've got some of an explorer's kit here. Uh, and this is some of the, the real life stuff that would have uh, the explorers would have gone in search of those mythical creatures. Uh, we've also got some of the stuff really that Newt Scamander would have had in the Wizarding World to find these creatures himself and take them on his adventure with him. And we've got Newt's passport, the British passport there. So we've got a moon card. It's an intentionally shy creature that only emerges at the full moon. Let's see what this moon card looks like. Yeah. He looks creepy. Full moon is out. So he is out. So our next exhibit is about shy, elusive creatures. That's why we saw the moon calf, and we've now got an okapi here, and it's talking about how uh, they're sort of a horse-like animal, but horse, zebra-type animal. And they've got distinctive markings, things like that, and it allows them to hide in amongst the bushes and camouflage them amongst shadowy forests, so they don't get caught and poached, basically. Demi guys, hidden, and then he's visible. You see him only from certain angles. He's able to make himself invisible when he feels threatened. Is he threatened by us? Oh, this is the handbag carried by the Demi guys. When he's accidentally set loose in New York City. Vanishing hats. It's difficult to be completely invisible without magic, but many animals have evolved in remarkable ways of disappearing to help them survive. So we're gonna go and see a number of animals which have enabled themselves to disappear over time. A chameleon, an amphipod, he's in there. He is see-through. And a cuttlefish as well. It can change color and the texture of its skin to look like coral or sandy sea floor. Jaguar, there are other animals that uh, the spots and the fur allows them to hide themselves in amongst the dense forest. As you can see down in the picture. If you're just glancing, you'd barely see him. They like shiny, valuable objects. So if you want to catch a niffler, you need a cage with shiny, valuable objects inside. So they go to a lot of work in the props department uh, for the Wizard and World films. Uh, and I'll put a link up in the top corner to the time we went to the Harry Potter photographic exhibition uh, just outside Covent Garden. I would recommend going and checking that out. So uh, link is up in the top corner to that now. This is an aerumpent. You spray him a nice smell, and hopefully he will come towards you. Oh, it's fired some water at us. Natural dancers. Animal courtship in a world of colour, sound, and motion. Is that how animals attract each other through dances? So you got birds, spiders. I'm sorry. 
peacock spider. They display their plume to attract their female mate and impress them. You can dance with the bay trackers. They defend the trees, so you don't want to uh, be touching the tree because otherwise they'll like. Ah! They're attacking me! Newt's enchanted basement. This is some of the props that are found in Newt's basement, in his uh, bag, things like that, his suitcase. Technologies, saving a species. So this is what we do in the modern world, to so save species and uh, breed rare animals, things like that, but obviously that's what Newt is trying to do himself. So they're here trying to raise awareness of animals that are going extinct um, and how they can be saved. Um, so the vaquita here, uh, currently there are fewer than 20 in the wild. There were nearly 600 when studies began in 1997. It's quite sad. Oh Save the dragons. These are all posters that uh, we should put up, make a poster to show your support. Ah, okay, so we can, before it's too late, before, so before it's too late, Okamis disappear forever, they are magical. That's what we just came up with, <laughs> on the fly, very quickly there. opened Newt's suitcase. So the creatures are escaping from his suitcase. and we are out into the gift shop here where you can buy all of your natural history museum memorabilia but then we've also got wisdom world and fantastic beasts memorabilia as well so we've got special merchandise specifically for this particular exhibit like this poster by mina lima now these are the guys that did a lot of the props from harry potter uh, the Harry Potter and Wisdom World film series. Now, I will put a link up in the top corner to our trip to the Warner Brothers studio tour. You can go and check that out and you see some of their stuff on display throughout that. Ooh, chocolate creatures, mystery chocolate creature. Should we get one of those? 
I think we will. Four pound fifty. It's quite expensive, but oh, it's going to be nice. Oh, it's fang. One of six. We can get a chocolate frog. A wand. Oh, it's a one pen. We get ourselves a Niffler a Hedwig. It's a puppet Hedwig. I do like this Hedwig mug. Fifteen pounds. Some of the stuff is actually quite reasonably priced, but there's other bits that are a little bit expensive. So we finished in the Fantastic Beasts world of nature and we've come out uh, outside the fossil marine reptiles section. Uh, that was a really, really cool exhibit to see the crossover between the wisdom world and the natural world. What in the natural world has inspired the wisdom world and the creatures within the wisdom world. Uh, that is a temporary exhibition. It's here until January 3rd, 2022. Uh, they were preparing it all throughout everything going on last year, so yeah, we've recently opened everything up here in the UK, so it's a lot more free to do what you want. Uh, but I would really suggest coming and checking that out. Now it's a little bit pricey. I'd say it's a bit more expensive than it's worth, mm -hmm. but the stuff in there is really cool, so you've got to tread that balance between whether you think it's worth it or not, based on what you've seen in the video. Now, if you don't want to go, just watch the video. There you go. Um, but if you have enjoyed it throughout, I do appreciate it if you could give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. And if you could hit the subscribe button and bell icon to be notified when we post all new videos, that'll be fantastic. See you on the other side. Thanks.